Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of number systems, we are going to take up question 4 of NCRT exercise 1.2 where we are going to learn how to represent root of positive integers on number line through square root spiral. Now we are going to take up question number 4 which is a classroom activity related to square root spiral. So now to do this activity of square root spiral, I have taken a question. Show how square root of 3 can be located on the number line by square root spiral. Now if you have seen my previous video, I have already explained how to represent square root of any positive integer say n on the number line but that method was different. Now we are going to use square root spiral method to represent square root of 3 on the number line. So the rule is same. The rule in the previous video also was same that we can locate square root of any positive integer say n after we have located square root of n minus 1 on the number line. So if we have to find or represent square root of 3 on the number line, first of all we have to represent square root of 2 on the number line. So let's start with the construction now. So if we go by the rule, we can locate root of 3 on the number line using square root spiral only after we locate square root of 2 on the number line. So for that we shall mark a point say O at 0 and another point at 1 say A. So we can say OA is one unit. Now at A we will draw a perpendicular equal to one unit which is BA. Now join BO to get a right angle triangle say OAB where OB is the hypotenuse. It is the longest side and it is the side opposite to 90 degree. Now what is the value of OB? That is the hypotenuse. So we will use Pythagoras theorem to find out the value of hypotenuse that is OB. The Pythagoras theorem says that square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of perpendicular as well as base. And perpendicular and base both over here are one unit each. So we can say OB square is equal to OA square that is the base plus the perpendicular square and both are one unit so 1 square plus 1 square is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. So when OB square is equal to 2 so we can say OB is square root of 2. Right now we have got hypotenuse BO as square root of 2. Now how to locate square root of 2 on the number line? We will keep the compass, the pointer of the compass at 0 or you can say O point and with radius OB we are going to draw an arc which is going to cut the number line at P. So this P point is our square root 2. Right. And now this hypotenuse which is square root of 2 will form the base for locating square root of 3. So for that we will again draw a perpendicular say BC at point B we are constructing a perpendicular equal to 1 unit. So BC is the perpendicular, OB is the base and when you will join CO you will get a right angle triangle OBC where hypotenuse now is OC. Now how to find OC, the value of hypotenuse? So for that we will again apply Pythagoras theorem. So according to Pythagoras theorem, the hypotenuse square that is OC square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square. So that is the base is square root of 2. So square of square root of 2 plus 1 square is equal to 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. So OC square is equal to 3. So we can say OC is equal to square root of 3. So OC has come square root of 3. Now how to locate square root of 3 on the number line? We will again keep the pointer of the compass at 0 or you can say O point and with OC as radius you will draw the arc which will cut the number line at Q. So at Q you will get the point root 3 that is the Q point. P point was square root of 2 and Q point is square root of 3. Now if I want to extend this question and I say that okay fine uh, find out the next 
root of the positive integer that is 4. So what we will do, we will again construct a perpendicular of one unit with the base OC and this is also one unit. Let us call it DC. Yes, now join OD to get a right angle triangle OCD. Right, and now to get the hypotenuse OD, we are going to apply the Pythagoras theorem which says the hypotenuse square is equal to perpendicular square plus the base square. Now base is OC square, perpendicular is CD square. Now base is root 3, so we will write root square of root 3 plus 1 square which is equal to 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4. Right, so we can say OD is square root of 4, which is equal to 2. Right, now 2 is a point already marked on the number line. Yes, this is our square root 4. I can write over here, let, him, let, let us call it point R. So R is equal to square root of 4. Right, so this OD we have got square root of 4. Now if suppose we want the next number root of next positive integer that is root of 5 we are again going to draw a perpendicular say of one unit call it de and join e to o now this is the hypotenuse this is a right angle triangle ode whose hypotenuse is eo and when you will apply the pythagoras theorem you will get this hypotenuse as root 5 now again with point uh, pointer you of the compass you can keep at O right and with O as center and radius EO where you will when you will draw the arc it will be little more than 2 right because value of root 5 is 2.23 something so it is greater than 2 it lies between 2 and 3 so somewhere over here let us call it S point so this S point will be equal to root 5 right so this is how we can get a square root spiral of with the help of any positive uh, integer we can take root of any positive integer and we can get a square root spiral right so this is the classroom activity which you will be asked to do in the class and this is how we construct square root spiral so hope children you have understood the construction of square root spiral thank you everyone have a great day ahead